Hey, shalom, shalom, mishpacha. Welcome to another edition of Ray Bash's Ramblings. I'm your host, Rabbi Yehuda ben Shomer, and today I'm going to be talking about Jesus and Yeshua. Um, one of the first questions that may come to your mind are, are these the same, is this the same person? Yes, Jesus and Yeshua are one and the same. Uh, Jesus is the Greek um, uh, pronunciation or, or the Greek rendition of the word Yeshua or Yehoshua or the English Joshua. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy about Jesus and the origins of that name, and some say that it's it uh, uh, comes from uh, Greek pagan Zeus and what have you, but that's a totally different subject for a totally another time, and so I'm not going to get into that. But, you know, when, when somebody says Jesus, I know who they're talking about. When somebody says Yeshua, I know who they're talking about. But, let me make this perfectly clear, conceptually, Jesus and Yeshua are two totally different people. They're one and the same. They're the same person. But conceptually, they're two totally different people because they're represented in two totally different ways in the realm of modern-day Christianity and in the realm of Messianic or Netzari Judaism. In the realm of uh, modern-day Christianity, uh, the majority of Christianity paints uh, Jesus uh, as this Leonardo da Vinci, Hellenistic, Greco-Roman looking, toga wearing, long haired, fair skinned, blue eyed, British accent speaking, zombified hippie guru rebel who came to do away with the law, who came to do away with the Torah and to start a new religion. And uh, that's not who Jesus really is. That's not who Yeshua really is. But that is how the majority of Christianity portrays Jesus. So no wonder that uh, the majority of Jewish people will look at Jesus and say, Th this can't be my Messiah. He looks like a Gentile. He looks like a pagan. You know, the way that Christians are portraying Jesus, and I'm looking here at the Tanakh and all the prophecies in the Tanakh, and they say that this Jesus did away with the law, and he started this new religion called Christianity. It doesn't line up with the Tanakh, so he can't be my Messiah. He's not the Messiah. And so they, they don't accept uh, Jesus as the Messiah, and they reject him, and rightly so, if if that's the way they they that Christians portray him, and if that's the way he's being taught and preached to the Jewish people, um, it's like it's like calling Doctor Phil the Messiah, and yet painting him to look like Sigmund Freud, and and taking and reading Doctor Phil's books, and yet not doing one thing he said to do, and on top of that, interpreting what he says as if it's something entirely different from what he meant. Um, it, it, it's it's a case of mistaken my uh, mistaken identity. It's comparable to someone talking about the former uh, Texan president of the United States, George W. Bush, and describing him as this hip hop gangster rapper leader of the free world. Okay, I know who George Bush is, but th that's not what George Bush is like. He's not a hip hop rapster gangsta. He's you know it it. They're describing George W. Bush, but the description doesn't line up with who George W. Bush really is, even though they're talking about the same person, George W. Bush, Bush who was the former president of the United States. It's, it's comparable to that. Um, you know, and Christians describe Yeshua, describe Jesus like this religious rebel who broke all the rules and started a new religion. In both cases, they got the right people, but misunderstand who that person really is and what that person is really like. Um, so, you know, what did, what did Yeshua himself say? Yeshua said in Matthew 5, 17 through 20, he says, Think not that I have come to destroy the law, that's the Torah, or the prophets, that's the Tanakh, the Old Testament. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He's, he didn't come to do away with the law. He, bring, he came to bring it into its full and complete meaning. That's what fulfill means. It doesn't mean I'm going to do the law so you don't have to do it, or I'm going to fill the law up so it can't be fulfilled anymore. No, he's saying, I'm coming to bring the Torah into its full and complete meaning. In other words, Yeshua came to walk the Torah before us, to show us how we are to live out the Torah in our daily lives. Now, um, you know, this, this Jesus of Christianity, he's portrayed um, as somebody who did away with the law. What does 2 Thessalonians uh, you know, uh, 2, 3 talk about? It talks about the man of sin. Um, and, okay, well, the man of sin, what is sin? 1 John 3, 4 defines sin as whoever commits sin transgresses also the law, that is the Torah. For sin is a transgression of the law, of the Torah. So the definition of sin is somebody who does not obey or keep the Torah. 
And so the man of sin, who is the man of sin? It's the anti-Messiah. It's the anti-Christ. So Christianity unwittingly is portraying Jesus uh, in, in, in this sort of fashion that he came to do away with the law. And to the Jewish people, he's looking like an anti-Messiah. He doesn't look like the Messiah at all. And so, you know, did, did Jesus come to do away with the law? No, I just read a verse that said he didn't. Um, that he didn't come to do away with the law. Uh, but he came to bring it into its full and complete meaning. So, you know, who who is this Jesus? Who is this Yeshua? Yeshua was a Torah observant, obedient Jewish man who was born as a Jew, was circumcised as a Jew, was taught and raised as a Jew, who when he grew up, he taught Judaism, he taught the Torah, he taught people how to, to walk the Torah. Um, he, uh, he kept all the customs and traditions of the Jewish people. The only time he butted heads was with the Pharisees and their man-made doctrines and traditions that opposed the Torah or the t doctrines and traditions of the Pharisees that they raised uh, to the level of Torah and their own commandments and traditions became just as holy and just as sacred and just as authoritative as the Torah itself. That's what Yeshua came to rebel against. That's what Yeshua butted head against. He did, you know, he agreed with the Pharisees in every single point except for divorce regarding the Torah because, you know, um, they believe that, you know, hey, if a woman burns a meal, you know, she can be divorced. Uh, no, he said except for, you know, fornication, you know, adultery. Um, well, what about, you know, him, these other tussles and fights he had with the Pharisees? That hadn't, that didn't do with the interpretation of Torah at all. That had to do uh, with their own made doctrines and traditions like oh you're supposed to wash your hands ritually before you uh, before you eat or whatever because you know what they didn't even complain about Yeshua and his Talmudin uh, picking grain on the Sabbath and and uh, rolling it in their hands getting the husk off and eating it they were satisfying their hunger what they were railing against was oh, oh they didn't wash their hands <laughs> and that has nothing to do with the Torah whatsoever uh, so you know Yeshua he, 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 he didn't go to church, he went to synagogue. Uh, he even read from the Torah, from the prophets, actually, from Isaiah. And that's when he proclaimed, his, one of the times where he proclaimed himself as the Messiah. Uh, you know, he taught Torah, he was a rabbi, people called him a rabbi. Um, he, he lived, he lived like a Jew and he died like a Jew and he's going to return as a Jew. And in Revelation it says that he's going to return and that there's going to be a name written on his thigh that nobody, that nobody knows or nobody knew. What could that be? Well, it's definitely not a tattoo. It's it's zitzit because zitzit are tied and wrapped in such a way that uh, that it spells out the name Yud Hey Vav Hey, the sacred name of God, which nobody really knows how to pronounce anymore. We can come up with good educated guesses, but so, uh, the pronunciation has been jealously guarded and protected, and thus lost to to the general masses uh, of the population. So, um, in other words. Uh, you know, is Jesus the Antichrist? Uh, well, that depends on how you present him. Are you presenting him as this uh, this Messiah who did away with the law and created a new religion? Or are you portraying him as the Torah observant, obedient uh, Jewish Messiah that came to bring about salvation uh, to Israel and to the world? So I'm running out of time here. It's all the time I have. Maybe there'll be a part two to this. Who knows? Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.